Hey everybody, uh, I want to tell you about an item that I found in my favorite record store a couple of days ago and uh, decided to make a video about it because I was in the mood to make another video and I uh, thought it would be interesting to show this item. Um, I was looking up at the walls uh, in my record store and there was a new addition there. It was this. It was a, an autographed album cover signed by Pete Best that was already framed and uh, it wasn't very expensive so I bought it and you can see there's a signature there from Pete. Um, I'll, I'll get into why exactly I picked this up and uh, how frustrating it's been trying to meet Pete Best. You know, I, I'm an autograph collector of sorts. I mean, I've been collecting autographs for a number of years. I mean, mostly uh, in the 1990s, I used to go around on my own and uh, try to meet celebrities, and I got a good collection. Um, as far as Pete goes, it's funny, he was at uh, the Beatle Fest that uh, is, is run by Mark Lapidos. Uh, now it's called the Fest for Beatles fans. By the way, a little plug for them, they're going to have uh, one in February, uh, a couple of months from now, in New York City. Uh, they're going to be honoring the, the Beatles 50th uh, anniversary arrival in New York. And it's also the 40th year that Mark has been doing the Beatle Fest. So that's something to keep uh, keep in mind. And I'll be attending. But uh, I hadn't gone to Beetle Fest for a number of years. And I remember s several years ago, Pete Best was one of the guests. And I decided not to go for whatever reason. I mean, I, ha I hadn't been there in a number of years. And I just wasn't as, as keen on it as I once was. So I missed an opportunity to, to meet him and get his autograph. I mean, you know, Pete isn't exactly John, Paul, George, or Ringo. But, you know, he was one of the Beatles for a couple of years. And, uh, you know, he seems like a nice, personable kind of guy. And I would have liked to say hello and uh, shake his hand and get an autograph on my own. Um, I don't usually like getting autographs this way uh, because when you don't see the person signing the autograph. Because, for one thing, you don't really know 100% that uh, it's really their autograph. Um, although in a case like this, I can't imagine who would want to forge Pete Best's autograph. So I think this is legitimate. Um, but also because if you buy an autograph, it's not a, a personal experience. It's not like they, you know, shared a moment with you and signed for you as, as like, you know, something to be happy with. You know, it's just something that you buy in general. But um, sometimes you don't have a choice depending on who the celebrity is. But... Uh, it's funny, I did go to a Beatle Fest, uh, the last one they had, or the one before that, no, in 2012. 2012 I went, and uh, it's funny, uh, you always see Mark Lapidos, who runs the show, running around doing various errands and chores. He's a very busy man, he's got a lot to do. And I, I did stop him for a minute, and I said, excuse me, Mark, I said, how you doing? I said, uh, you know, I, what are the chances that you'll have Pete Best again at another show? Any chance of that? And he kind of whirled on me, and he said, no, why, why would I do that? I had him here twice already. He said, people are going to start saying, hey, Mark, you never have anybody new here. And he kind of got an attitude, you know, and I didn't understand that, <laughs> uh, especially in light of the fact that, I mean, how many times now has he had Mark Hudson at the show, and he's going to have uh, Peter Asher, I believe, in 2014, and he had Peter Asher already, so, you know, he's had repeat guests before. But anyway, yeah, so I missed Pete. I had a couple of opportunities at the local Beetle Fest to see him, and I never went. And I found out just recently that a few years ago, unbeknownst to me, Pete also appeared at a local record store. It's about a half hour drive from my house, and I could have met him there too, but I wasn't aware of it. So Pete Best has been one of those very elusive people that I haven't been able to meet. I know he's going to be at some other Beatles celebration. I don't know where it is. Gee, I can't remember. Is it... I don't know, I can't remember where it is. It, it's somewhere that I'm not going to be able to get to. And, and somebody will tell me in uh, 2014, I'm not going to be able to be there. So I just hope I get an opportunity to say hi to him, you know, at some point on my own and get my autograph for myself. But in the meantime, if, if I never get a chance to, to say hello and meet him, at least I've got this. And uh, I say I didn't pay a lot for it. Uh, I didn't want to really give the price away. Uh, let's just say it's under $50. And uh, the way I figure is that, it, you know, if Pete is around at a show or something, he'll probably charge to sign anyway. A lot of celebrities are charging for their autographs these, these days. And I know a lot of people out there, some people are into autographs, some of them aren't. And they can't understand why anybody gets interested in collecting them. It doesn't mean anything to them. They don't think they would uh, waste their time getting a person's signature. Well, I enjoy it. So, uh, 
<laughs> that's what I care about and uh, here it is so anyway thanks a lot folks for watching guys and gals